those who confess against the Son of Man shall be forgiven. Those who say, I don't believe in Jesus, shall be forgiven if they do not confess against the Holy Ghost. Well, your confession against the Holy Ghost is not that you're saying, I don't believe in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the substance and spirit of God. It's the will of God. It's the allness of the law of God. It's law number one. You shall have no other God besides this all good mind and spirit. No other this is what we are to live and honor. The Pharisees want Jesus put on the cross, but they don't have the authority. The Caesareans do have the authority, but they're working together. They are not walking the way of the Jew. They are not honoring the eighth-day circumcision covenant. They are walking the way of the Gentile. They are Gentiles. Romans 2, 25-29. A Jew honors the circumcision of the heart, not the dead letter, but the living spirit. So the circumcision of the heart is when we have these rising desires to step off the way of God, to do things to others we wouldn't want done to ourselves, we are to circumcise them or cut them away and not give them life. That's the eighth day circumcision of the heart. It keeps the seventh day Sabbath day holy. It keeps the land holy. It builds the holy land. People have this character where they're going to honor the one way truth and life that first law of God. So your confession by the mouth is not by your literal mouth. It's that you are speaking, quote unquote, the all of the law, meaning you are living it. You are exemplifying it regardless of what language you are speaking. That's the Nimrod separation of languages. It's not about literal languages. It's about the tongue of fire. It builds the safety and the peace. Regardless of what language you speak, you honor this one way. You make your yes, yes, and your no, no. You are here to make this unseen good seen and not do to others things you don't want done to yourself. The separation of languages is that people are now going to separate into little groups where their little group is holier because of their politics or their religion or their religious politics or their wealth or their race. They are going to judge others, not of their group, as being lesser. And then in some cases, blaming them for certain troubles and then justifying hurting and causing war upon them. That's the separation of languages. It's about character. They're separating themselves away from the tongue of fire. The fire that doesn't consume with war and hate, but raises up these revelations and builds the peace and safety. Our self-gain in this world is built upon exemplifying this one way. Feeding ourselves upon it. Sharing it with the world. The loaf. Regardless of our wealth or our sect, or our race. This is the one language that the world shall come back to. It's not about a new world order that's going to take over and have one religion and make everybody speak one language. God knows what else.